Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.5. Now this is the latest update from Apple. It's currently on beta 4 and it's coming out this month. Most likely the day will be May the 12th when you will get this update released for your devices. So in today's video, I will show you guys every single new feature that iOS 18.5 will bring to your device. Even though we don't have any big new features, there are still a few of those that actually make this update way better and we're starting off with wallpapers as usually with every update every year with 18.5 now and with 0.5 updates in the past basically this time of year apple brings new wallpapers and this year we have two new wallpapers coming with ios 18.5 now these have not yet been released on the beta stages usually that is what apple does they don't release the new wallpapers on the beta stages but they are out with the final update and two new different wallpapers have actually been discovered on the code of ios 18.5 so expect two new wallpapers for your device on the settings app if you go to your notifications and you go to screen time of course if you use screen time you will have your notifications here and then scroll all the way down you will have now the option here to customize the notifications for screen time and this menu will be a bit different for everyone of course based on which screen time features you're actually using Another change on screen time will be this new menu right here, screen time management. Now, if you use screen time to actually manage someone else's device, you will now have everything here under this menu. This will make it much easier for you to actually find everything in one place. So once you go to the screen time menu, all you have to do is just scroll all the way down and you will have there the screen time management menu that has been added with 18.5. And now under your Apple ID at the top of your settings app, when you go to one of your devices, if you go there, you know you have a list of all of your devices that are connected to your Apple ID. When you go to one of the devices, you will now also have here a section for Apple Care and Warranty, where you will have all the details about that device. Previously, we only had that under the general settings, but now it has been added here as well. Now, what you will find new also here under Apple Warranty, this will be displayed here it will be displayed also on the general settings you will have way more information here regarding the warranty and you will have here a button where you can go and learn more about your benefits and also here a new way to actually open the support app and see the details regarding that device and under the general settings, when you go to Apple Care and Warranty, you will also see right here this new banner at the top, which as hack actually has been changed from iOS 18.4. And also going under any of your devices, you will have under the general settings, Apple Care and Warranty, you will again see all these informations and again here the support app and the link to view your benefits. Now, one really cool thing Apple has done with iOS 18.5 is that they brought back the banner for the back tab. Now, I know a lot of people actually didn't like that feature, but in my opinion, it's useful because if you go and enable one of the back tab feature, whether that, that will be double tap or triple tap, you will notice that sometimes you might invoke that feature by accident, of course, just moving your iPhone around. And let's say you have set here double tap to take a screenshot but you don't do it, it happens on accident and it just takes a screenshot of your device. You don't know what happened there and why your device just took a screenshot. Now with this feature enabled, you will have that banner indicating that this feature has been used. And also here, when you go under the touch, under the back tab menu, you will find a new button where you can enable or disable this banner. But in my opinion, if you just decide to use this feature, you should also enable the banner. Moving into the mail app, we have a few changes here as well. First of all, when you go to one of your inboxes, if you tap the three dots right there, you will be able now to choose whether you want to show the contact picture or not. You will have that button right there that allows to do that. Now, what Apple has done is that they have placed it right here. This is a feature. You can find it also on iOS 18.4, but you will have to go through the settings of the mail app to change that. And now you can change actually that much, much faster. Now, Another thing I really like here is that, you know, we have your categories right here and you swipe like this to go to all mail. Now, previously this was hidden completely. Now you can see that there's actually a button right there. So a lot of people didn't know that you can actually invoke 
with that button by tapping here on the corner now you can actually do that and you will see all of your mail so basically the function is the same you will just now see that grabber right there indicating that there is actually a menu or a button right there so you probably know with iOS 18.4, Apple has brought a new food section for the news app. Now when you go to that section for the first time on iOS 18.5, you will see a new splash screen. Under the recently deleted album, with the first beta, Apple had added the buttons right here to delete all and recover all similar to this one but they have actually removed it and that's just the thing that apple has done actually to just prevent people from accidentally deleting all the photos that you have there now of course you can still do that you simply tap the select button tap right here you will have the recover and delete but all button but of course having them right here was more convenient but it was also a risk that someone might just tap it by accident and and just delete everything that they had in this folder. iOS 18.5 will also bring satellite messaging to UK. So if you live in UK, you will now have satellite messaging once you have updated to iOS 18.5. With 18.5, you're also getting a modem update for your device and this most likely indicates that a lot of carriers will also release carrier updates once you have updated your iPhone to 18.5, of course, once this is out to the public. So what I suggest you do after you have updated, go to the about section and stay there for like 10 seconds and if there is a carrier update, it should pop up on the screen and you can simply tap install and it will be done in a few seconds and apple intelligence will be finally available in china with ios 18.5 so if you live there didn't have apple intelligence until now once this update goes out you will be able to use the new apple intelligence features iOS 18.5 also brings improvements to CarPlay. There have been actually a ton of problems with CarPlay, with connectivity and all that stuff. Now it should be way better and much, much smoother with iOS 18.5 and the same goes for AirDrop as well iOS 18.5 does improve the airdrop stability as well. So that's basically it for this video guys and these are all the new changes and features that we're getting with the new iOS 18.5. Now even though it is not big on new features and changes it is still a great update with lots of improvements and actually a very solid performance and actually a very very good battery life. In my experience using it since beta 1 it has actually been quite good now this update as i said will be released most likely on may the 12th with an rc version coming up this monday which will be the last update to the devs before this update gets released to the public so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one